Hey everyone, um, just wanted to make a quick video. I haven't done an algorithm problem in a long time, so I thought, hey, why not? Um, I went through the questions and picked one that I haven't done before. So, um, so yeah, let's see what happens. So this problem is called uh, swap nodes in pairs, um, given a linked list, swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head. So, so yeah, I guess you have one, two, three, four, and then you return two, one, four, three. Um, let's say there's like one, two, three, four, five. I'm guessing that the five just stays there. Um, I haven't done a coding problem in a long time. So like, I actually don't know if I could write C++ anymore. <laughs> Uh, but then they don't have Swift. Oh, they do have Swift. Okay, I'll try to do it in Swift. I've never done a coding problem in Swift either. We'll see how it goes. So, um, you have the head. Now, I'm thinking, should I do it recursively or should I just do it iteratively? Um, if I do it recursively... If I do it recursively, um, all I'll do is switch the next with myself and then <clears throat> and then return the head of that and then um, up the chain, um, the first call will just return the head of the whole list. So I think that could work. So that's the recursive way iteratively. Um, Iteratively, then I would have to like keep track of. I'll have to either keep track of the next pointer or the previous pointer or something like that. Um, it sounds a little bit more messy. Uh, maybe I'll do it at the end, but I want to start doing this uh, recursively. So. Pass it, pass it the head, <clears throat> and then over here, um, I think I just have to return. Wait a minute, I'm writing the same function. Am I? Well, one is returning the head. One is calling. <laughs> one is returning the head of the whole thing, and then I'm passing in the head of everything else I'm trying to figure out. So actually, I might be able to do it with just one function. <clears throat> because <clears throat> once I like. Let's say I have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, once I f deal with one and two, I don't really have to care about one and two anymore. I just return two, and then I just work on three through five. So yeah, I just need one function. Also, I'm, I think I'm kind of sick, so my voice might sound a bit nasally. Anyway. Let's start with the base case. So, um, if if head so if head is equal to nil or um head next equal to nil, then I don't, I don't have to do anything. So I just return head. Now, <coughs> if that's, 
uh, if that's not the case, then we'll have to uh, do the swapping. So, um, let's see. Heads next. Okay, so. I'm just thinking like, what's the most efficient way to write this? Because if you set, so let's say you have head, um, head next, and then head next, next. If you set heads, heads next, next equal to head, then you lose this pointer. So then we'll have to save this pointer or save this. So let head next next equal head next next. And actually <laughs> you there are no arrows arrows in Swift. Oops. So after we save that, then we could say, um, okay, uh, after we say that, then we could say head, head dot next will equal <clears throat> head. Head on next dot next will equal head. And then um so now they are pointing at each other and then head dot next will now equal swap pairs of head next next because we now if you're doing this um over the phone then i guess try to do it like me but if you're doing it in person um, i strongly suggest that you actually draw it on the board so head we save this we set heads next equal to head and now heads value has to point to um, to the head of whatever is next in here, right? So we don't know yet, so we have to um, run the function, swap pairs on this, but no matter what comes out of there, we set heads next equal to there. Yeah. Um, so after that, All we have to do is return We have to first save the new head too <coughs> So this is pretty messy and um, I always say just like I'm just thinking this out and then afterwards I'll um, go through it again but I think it would be something like this oh what I can't submit my code okay there we go so this is the rough draft of my code. Um, I'm gonna go through it again. <coughs> Basically at the beginning, we check if um, the head is nil or if the head's next is nil. If it is, 
if either is true, then we just return the head because there's nothing for us to do. Now that we know that there is a head and there's um, a head down next, um, we first, I guess we can first save the new head. We save the new head to be head dot next. Then we save um, heads next next value because we're gonna lose it. Because then we set um, head dot next dot next, or in this case, let's call it just new head equal to head. So a b c. We just saved C. Now we set B to point at A. So in another sense, we do that. Then we set A, which is head dot next, equal to swap pairs of head next next. So we call, so now, B points to A, and then A points to uh, swap pairs, and we pass in C to there. Um, and then we return new head, which is B. All right, time to submit this and hope it works. Oh, line 14. Wait, what? Let's see if it works. Nice. Okay, cool. Dang, that was only 13 minutes. Faster than I thought. <coughs> um, yeah, so I guess that's, that's how I solved it in real time. It's pretty messy, as you can tell. But uh, yeah, so how I approached it was I thought uh, like really over really gave it a like really big overview. I was like, oh, I can solve this. How would I solve it recursively and then iteratively? And just sort of like explore that and not really come up with the details, but at least have a general idea of how I would solve it each way and then decide like which way is simpler. So in this case, I went recursively and it just worked out for me. Um, <coughs> I could do an iterative version if if you guys want, just leave a comment. Um, but yeah, I guess really after noticing that I just needed one function to use recursively and that after I uh, work on the first two, um, I don't really need to worry about them anymore. Uh, that made it really clear to me that um, I needed one function, recursion was the right way to go. And uh, I just had to move from left to right. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you want any more videos like this. And then um, if so, you can request any of the code problems. <coughs> or also, if you prefer me to do the problem already first beforehand and just do more of a lecture style instead of like a um, on-the-spot interview, um, I can do that too. Cool. Thanks for watching.